Kimbrough set to jump it up for the Hawks in the home white, so the red trim. And ball tip, Newman tips it, and Hartford comes away with it first for the Hawks. Here's Moses Flowers. Drives in, kicks it to Williams, immediately tries a three, comes up short, Flowers the rebound. One of the things to keep an eye on, Flowers and Williams haven't played in about a week, so not only seeing, looking for signs of rust for them, but seeing how the other three starters integrate those two stars back into the rotation. A foul in the first minute of the game, it's against Hartford, it will be on Austin Williams, his first. Williams' first team all-conference selection. Second time in three years, Hartford had a first team all-conference selection. Malik Ellison won back in the 1920 campaign. Here's Horton Jr. Works it around to the left. Sarudi drives in, gets the ball to Doles. And then back in against Shriver. Loses the handle, good defense. It goes out of bounds with seven on the shot clock, and it's Hartford ball. Jarvis Doles, such an X factor for this Albany team. You see him there, number four in yellow, and now we look at David Shriver. But Doles is really a guy who, when he is playing his best basketball, takes this Albany team to a whole nother level. Hartford averages 70 a game, yielding 72 a contest. They shoot 70, uh, 45 percent from the field, including 37 from long range. And Hartford has made 285 threes this season. And we know that is their kind of their patented offense. One three one look here from Albany. It was a two two one three quarter court press, falling back into the one three one. They showed this against Hartford early in the season, had some success with it. Kimbrough, shot clock winding down, finds the cut, finds the cutting Williams, who tries to duck the shoulder, elevate, comes up short. U Albany clears the rebound. Here comes the U Albany lineup, and Great Danes had look like this. When you can see a lot of balance in this lineup. We've talked a lot about Hartford's injuries in the last couple of weeks, but this is an Albany team that lost some key, key players early on as well, and really kind of changed the expectations in Dwayne Killing's first year in Albany. Flowers try to dribble towards the basket, lose the handle, it goes out of bounds, and U Albany will take over. First turnover against the Hawks. Great Danes have given it back twice on offensive possessions. They've just taken one shot so far in the first two minutes. Well, if we've come to learn anything in year one of the uh, Killings tenure, it's that this group is going to be incredibly connected, and they are really going to defend. Crowd shotting defense here at Hartford. Sabrini with the basketball. Works it over to Champion. Now Horton Jr. at the free throw line, trying to get the ball inside, deflected away, taken by Tracy Carter, and the ball will go out of bounds. Good effort, though. Yeah, some of the best hands on the defensive end you're going to find in the conference. The veteran excels at getting his hands on the ball. Great Danes and Hartford both finish 9-9 nine and nine in conference play, but Hawks got the four seed. That victory against Vermont earlier in the season. Driving in, putting it up short, it's Horton. Ball goes out of bounds, it will stay with the Great Danes. And they split the conference series, but both teams won their road game, which is, is uh, unusual. It is. Great Danes averaging 62 a game, they allow 66 a contest. They shoot 41% from the field, 32% from long range, and they do shoot well from the line, 71%. There's a three-pointer that falls out. That time, Champion couldn't get it to go, and Hartford with the rebound. But those numbers do paint a picture, and that's that when Albany is making shots, like they did when they played here early in the season, they are a completely different team, because the defense is going to be a constant. There's Williams. Has to get his body towards the basket, throws it up top for Tracy Carter. Yeah, good D by Champion there. Here's Carter, three on the shot clock, steps back for a long two, rims out. Kimber on a hand of the rebound, but couldn't bring it in cleanly. It went off his leg, as the official states. And he doesn't like the call, but the Great Danes will get the ball back. Good crowd here the Chase Family Arena. And so they were playing for last week up in Albany, home court advantage today. But as you mentioned, both teams won on opposite home floors in the regular season. And, and I think when Hartford came into that game without Austin Williams and Moses Flowers, I think it really just threw Albany for a loop. I don't think they were expecting that. You know, Gigantic game from Shriver, Adam, who hit seven threes that day. T.J. Mitchell is also outstanding. Yeah, and, and that was just, you know, you spend a few days game planning for two guys, they don't show up, and it just completely changes what you've prepared for. There's Doles against Shriver, drives in deep, gets it out of champion, works it back to Doles. 
work his way in. Throws it up and gets fouled. Hartford's defense collapsing on him just inside the free throw line. Now John Gallagher will get D.J. Mitchell into the game for the first time. D.J. Mitchell coming off the bench today. Shriver staying in the starting lineup. He was coming off the bench before Flowers and Williams went out of the lineup, but he played so well in their absence, Gal elected to keep him in that starting five. Shriver hit seven threes in back-to-back -back games and then ended with six threes in Thursday's game against UMass Lowell. And Finish with a, a game high 23 points. Now oh, he's been playing at an absolutely unprecedented rate, just shooting it beautifully. Doles misses the free throw, and this is kind of news because Doles is a 72% free throw shooter. Doles had 24 points. It's a twice his last four games at him. It's a matchup that should favor Doles because he's used as a basically a conventional four man here for Albany. Hartford really only plays with one big, so Dole should have opportunities to score with his back to the basket tonight. A couple of free throw misses, still 0-0. He played over three minutes. There's Moses Flowers, who's going to get the first basket. Shriver tries a three. That's going to rim out. Nothing but golden jerseys for the rebound. Here's Saruti, head of the pack. Three and a half minutes and no points. You can see the... Uh, <laughs> The tension of postseason basketball. Well, talked about the defensive side for Albany. This time it's Hartford, though, that comes up with a theft. Here's Shriver driving in deep and initiates the contact. And the foul called on the floor against you, Albany. That'll be their second whistle. Well, listen, when you're playing with, with a little bit of some extra nerves that the postseason brings in, let's face it. There's an extra bit of something on the line here for Hartford. Everybody knows it. We don't talk about it that much. But last season in the America East, th there's a lot on the line here for these kids. So that that energy and learning how to deal with that, it's actually easier to play defense than it is to come out and make shots at your normal clip. Here's DJ Mitchell trying to get it to Flowers. Stolen away by Saruti. Gets his paws on it. Here's Saruti ahead to Champion who puts it up. Has it blocked. DJ Mitchell comes up with it. Sure that I know it's happened before. I'm just not sure it's happened with us at the microphone. All right, here's Horton as it now. Albany has gotten the board for us. Trying to get it to pull. The ball tipped out of bounds. And well, Shriver's going to come this way. It's going to be hard for basketball. I Don't try him. to get it. Great job by Shriver. I would have caught him. I had him all the way. <laughs> yeah, right. But the miscommunication, and we said establishing Doles. The, the, the challenge for both of these coaches right now is to settle their kids get down. You got 10 kids on the floor right now and they are all extra hyped up and that's why the offense isn't clicking it's why you see some miscommunications on both ends he's swinging around to Mitchell drives in deep floater in traffic cut the basket and the foul no, no. Oh, wow. it off. gonna wave it off John Gallagher irate on the sideline will be a charge called and E.J. Mitchell will get hit with his first personal. Well, it was Hartford's best possession so far. Watch the spacing, the ball movement as they go from one side to the other. So the, the key factor is whether or not he's set before Mitchell leaves his feet. That's honestly too close for me to call. There's Horton against Carter. Gets him out of Doles. Doles against Shriver. Drives in. Try to get the angle, pulls up a traffic, can't get the shot to go. DJ Mitchell grabs the rebound, throws it up to Flowers. But that, that's the knock on Doles, is that he's going to operate too far from the perimeter. He settles for fadeaways, and when he's got Shriver on him, he's got to go inside, use his size, be willing to body up, because if he does, he's got a mismatch down there. There's Flowers. Tough shot. Outside of the elbow, and he scores, and it's Hartford. Almost five minutes in, that gets the first points of the game, and Moses Flowers welcome back in a Hawk uniform. Gordon Jr. flips it over to Newman. Paul faces up, kind of lag off him. Working into Doles. So that's shot I mean. in defense. Doles had DJ Mitchell on him on the block there. He's got to score that ball for Albany. After the miss, Newman the offensive rebound. Now Horton Jr. tries the three and gets it to go. How often do you see it? An offensive rebound leads to a kick out three. It's become a teaching point for so many coaches. If you get that offensive rebound and your shoulders aren't square to the basket, you're taught now to kick it out and look for a spot up shooter. Albany's first basket comes from long range. There's Tracy Carter. Tries to go by Saruti. Trying to get it to Shriver. Ball tipped away by Champion. It will stay with the Hawks with nine on the shot clock. 
So Albany came out, they showed that 2-2-1 back into the 1-3-1, but they really just did that as a changeup, and they've been man-to-man -man ever since. It's been a defensive grind for both teams to this point. Officials talking to the huddle about the as it about to break as it uh, breaks up. Driver on the catch. And Austin Williams went to the bench early. He has not come back, so that's something to keep an eye on. After the Hartford miss, here comes Horton, drives in, can't get the shot to go. Kimber to hand on the rebound, loose on the floor. Body's going flying. You Albany comes up with it. Champion now for Newman. Horton comes up short, and Moses Flowers well tipped out of bounds. Oh, wow, they're going to say it. Stage of the Great Danes. Well, good hustle play there by Doles. Flowers was trying to let it go out of bounds. Doles beat him to it, knocked it off Flowers. So fresh 20 for the Great Danes to work with. Six and a half minutes gone by. Doles tried the three. Front rim, no. And the rebound taken in by Tracy Carter. As Carter tries to motor his way in, throws it right to Champion, stolen away by Chuck Champion. Here comes Hugh Albany. Now Coles will finish with an easy lay. Court pressure applied by the Great Danes. DJ Mitchell will bring it up for the Hawks. And you'll see Albany kind of make some subtle changes to their defensive coverages, whether it's, you know, we talked about the zone for one possession. That time they picked up a little farther out. It's little things to keep Hartford's offense out of rhythm. Flowers, nice pass to Shriver, inside for the layup. Good catch there by Shriver and a tough finish. That was an awkward angle, but he knew exactly where he was and put it in. Nisseruti fakes the three, floater in traffic is good. Went by Moses Flowers that time. Yeah, he loves that floater game, and I tell you what, his last time in this gym, he made a lot of those. Tracy Carter gets by the defense. Champion trying to guard him in the man-to-man. Is Carter driving along the baseline. Tra no whistle. Tracy's got to adjust though, because that's the second time he just drove to the same spot he turned it over in the last time. And you can see that's the way Albany's rotating. So he can run out of room really quickly along that baseline because they're shutting it down with that secondary defender. Tracy Carter will get a quick break and into the game comes Briggs McLean, who's been kind of the unsung hero the last week or so with all the injuries. Well, he stepped up and provided offense when uh, when their two primary scorers were out of the game. Moses Flowers couldn't get that shot to fall. Kind of a tough one. Back to their side. Champion throws it off the window. Two games with injury. Yeah, and we don't really know if he's he's got some lingering pain or if Gal's just trying to manage the minutes. Moses Flowers, by the same token, getting his first blow now. Is Williams now 18 the shot clock. And Albany's back in zone. So they know that Gal wants to draw something up out of the huddle. They switch their defense to counteract that. Nice driver. McLean, three. In and out. There's a rebound for Kimbrough. And a foul. Oh, so, that's out of bounds. So we talked about the different looks Albany's going to give you defensively. That one was a quick 2-3. So they've shown a possession of 1-3-1. They've shown a possession of 2-3. Looks like they're going to switch back to man here. So just doing different things to keep Hartford out of a rhythm and showing a lot of respect for Gal's ability to draw stuff up out of the timeout and out of the huddles and trying to take away that ATO ability. Kimbrough sits down. Moses Flowers gets back for Hartford. It's a really small lineup on the floor here for Hartford. They essentially have no big. It's Shriver and Williams are the uh, biggest guys on the floor. So can they rebound out of this lineup? Who, dro who guards Williams? You see it's Newman here, and he can't keep in front of him. He has the shot blocked as he drives in. An excellent job by Newman extend the arms. Well, and good rotation there as well, secondary defender. Now this is the flip side of that matchup. Albany's got so much size, they're going to look to exploit it in the post. What a play by Moses Flowers to get the rookie of the year, Justin Neely, to take away. 
And Neely is a power player. He can operate in the post. He's really good in short drive situations, so uses that upper body to his advantage. He's the America's Rookie of the Year, as it was announced. Six-time Rookie of the Week. We'll go over all the teams, the first, second, third, and all the awards at halftime today. Hartford, two for 11 to start. Hawks 0 for 5 from long range. You Albany, 3 of 12, including 1 of 3 from long range. And has not been an offensive clinic. <laughs> There's Williams. I think I turned it over at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Into the rim. He is short. Here come the Great Danes. Here's what Albany's doing, though. They're making him see multiple uh, jerseys. Hartford's really good at spacing the floor, especially with this lineup. They've got a ton of shooting, but they've got to make some threes to stretch out this Albany defense right now because they are in gaps and not allowing any driving lanes. 12 on the shot clock. Here's Horton. They go one-on-one -on -one against Mitchell. Drives in deep, ducks the shoulder, elevates, can't get the shot to go. Nearly the hand of the rebound, but it's Moses Flowers that comes up with it. And that's the key. If they can defend the paint and rebound, they can stick with this small lineup. Flowers drives in, and he gets fouled. So we talked about the fact that in the half court, Hartford had not been getting any available driving lanes. One way to counteract that is to do it in early offense before Albany has an opportunity to set their defense, and that's what Flowers did here. Bigger driving lane. You can see Hutchinson just a little late on that rotation. Arthur will attempt its first free throws of the contest. Just inside 10 minutes to play in the half. And Flowers a 65% free throw shooter. Makes it a two-point game. You're right. The winner, uh, first one of 50, could first win this thing. First one of 50, yeah, yeah. It's not unusual this time of year, you know, I mean, this is this is especially coming off a of COVID year where people were playing in empty gyms. I mean, there's no way to simulate the energy and the, the intensity of postseason basketball when you've got a bigger crowd response than normal. Yeah, nice crowd showing up today to cheer on the Hawks. Some fans making the trip from Albany, New York as well. Out shotting defense for most of them anyways. Matt Cerruti has the basketball. It's at Hutchinson in the game for the first time. Try to feed it in the right side. It's going to go out of bounds, and the Hawks get another stop. It's a turnover, seventh of the game for you, Albany. Yeah, it was a good rotation there by Webley. We've seen Albany do the same thing, but he came over to shut down that baseline drive. You're overruling this call. Oh, I wow. Think. Yes, they're going to give it to the Great Danes. In this deep corner out of bounds situation. Inside 10 minutes to play. Half number one, it's a one point game. Only nine on the shot clock. There's a three pointer in route by Hutchinson. No good. Tracy Carter, the rebound. Moses Flowers, a three. Side of the rim, no good. Run for the one and done. Rebound grabbed by U Albany. Yeah, and that, that's the thing. Albany. Whether it's on a long miss or a Hartford turnover, they're looking to run, and that's been their best offense so far. And David Shriver is hit with his first personal. That will send Aaron Reddish, a 66% free throw shooter, to the strike. Reddish also on the all rookie team, the freshman from Norristown, Pennsylvania. The younger brother of New York, Nick Cam Reddish, and he's got a ton of upside. You can see the Soft shooting stroke there, excuse me. Got a great basketball body that's just going to keep developing in that Albany weight room. He, he's got a, a very bright future in this program. This is the second one as the crowd cheers. Hartford with the rebound. Here's Austin Williams. Oh. Yeah, near the backcourt. Back <laughs> Here's Flowers. Williams drives in, kicks it left side for a Carter three. He gets it a go. Tracy Carter hits Hartford's first three, and the Hawks are up. Shriver's down, though. Shriver went down holding his knee. Did not see what happened on that play on the opposite end. Looks to be all right, hopefully. 
Look at this rotation, Adam. Yeah, that's the play we've seen time and time again. That fake handoff action from the elbow. Williams sets it up for the drive and kick three. Driver going to go back to the training table. Hopefully, if you bump knees, it can hurt, but hopefully it's nothing more serious than that. Sarudi gets a shot to go just inside the free throw stripe. Well, that's Sarudi just utilizing his size and strength advantage. You get deep enough with uh, someone who's significantly smaller and lighter than you, you can just score over top of them, and that's what that matchup with Mitchell allows him. Back and forth we go as the Great Danes are back in command. There's Williams. See, three yellow jerseys, though. They're throwing a trap, and it's picked off. Stolen away by Reddish. Reddish back the other side, and an easy layup as two beats one, and Horton Here, gets the basket. Here's why that rotation was so good, though, because Williams puts the ball on the floor. Albany collapses. Williams picks up his dribble, and they immediately recover and space back out to the shooter. So there wasn't even a drive and kick opportunity there for him. And Tracy Carter goes behind the back. Has to get rid of the defense. Gives it out to DJ Mitchell. Mitchell looking for some help. Finds Williams. Albany is really shrinking the floor defensively. There's yellow space. Guys who are wearing the same color shirts, first and <laughs> yeah, foremost. Yeah, the turnovers. That's, I mean, and all, all kidding aside, I mean. 13 turnovers combined. Yeah, we, we've got 13 turnovers and a combined 8 of 30 from the field right now. And, and obviously, that, that's due to two things. The, the intensity of the moment, but also both teams really defending at a high level as well. There's Newman. Jump shot in the lane, no good. Kimbrough, the rebound for Hartford. And that's just a missed opportunity. Albany will take that, that possession, get Newman deep post position like that, and allow him to turn his right shoulder, which is normally what he wants to do. Hartford just really hasn't had the type of possessions that we've become accustomed to for them. Tracy Carter hits the three, and just like that, we hit reset. Yeah, big time players. Tracy Carter's been here before. He's got a pair of threes. Cannot leave him open. Well, and again, it's just the value in lookout. DJ Mitchell with a steal. And a dunk! Hartford goes up 14-12 on the dunk by DJ Mitchell, who rattles the rim. DJ Mitchell jumping into that passing lane. Two guys who've been here before. It's a three by Reddish, no good. Horton Jr., the rebound. Working into Newman against Kimbrough. Can't get the shot to go. Kimbrough, the rebound. He hit the deck, no foul call. Then Hartford has the ball, the chance to add to a two point lead. Yeah, Kimbrough did a nice job there, angling him away. Now, see, that's the type of possession you expect from Hartford back cut, extra pass. Here's Tracy Carter with 10 to shoot. Schreiber. There's Flowers. Drives in and a block call. Is... It's a smart play by Flowers because you're late in the shot clock with three there. You really don't have an advantage. So your highest percentage play is to actually attack your defender's hip and try and draw the foul. That's exactly what he did. So it'll be hard for basketball. The foul called on the floor. Fifth whistle against the Great Danes. And fresh 20 for the Hawks to work with. And Shriver. And to Tracy Carter. Now Shriver, a three. It's good! David Shriver hits the three-pointer, and Hartford goes up by five. That's Hartford's biggest lead. Yeah, they found their rhythm. Quick 8-0 run from the Hawks. There's Horton Jr., followed by Carter. I haven't seen Tracy Carter move like that in about three years. All defensive team for the third consecutive season. This year may be the most impressive, though. Missing all those games early on. Hartford, good interior defense, and now, Carter tried to bring it in underneath. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Great Danes. I, I'm fascinated to see if Tracy can continue to move like this for all 40 minutes. Because even, even the way he got up on that rebound attempt there, he's he's moving better right now than I've seen him move yeah, in a long, time. I mean, long he hasn't time. done this all year, really. He talked about his hands, not losing that step on his hands, but 
The feet really a different story, but he's been quick today. Now they call Moses Flowers. No shot clock violation. No, oh, no that's wow. a, yeah, that's and, and you know what? I think that was the right call too. It's just you, you can't put yourself in that position to get beat there. But to your point on Tracy, I, I think that even last year when he was battling those injuries, his hands were so good that it was um, his hands were so good it allowed him to erase a lot of different mistakes. Chuck Champion, a 73% free throw shooter, goes to the line. You Albany, one for four from the stripe today, make it two of five. A graduate student from Philadelphia. Well, that Philly connection is going to be a, a staple of this program moving forward because. Oh, boy. Alfred had a hand in the offensive uh, on the rebound, and then you Albany got it right back. Yeah, Killing's time on that Temple staff and his connections in that area is going to give him a, a, a recruiting pipeline into the Philly area. Champion now doles. Five on the shot clock. Kicks it back to Champion. Good catch. Top three. No good. Rebound Schreiber. Doles has made 25 threes this season, if you're wondering. Oh, he can stretch it. I think that's that's the, the concern is sometimes he tries to stretch it too much instead he's at his best when he's being a mismatch and going inside and out. Oh what a move by Tracy Carter the defense just kind of sagged all over and initiates the contact and gets the foul. Yeah Tracy is uh, Tracy's leading the way right now because notice Austin Williams back on the bench here. So we have not you know he's playing limited minutes we don't know how healthy he is but what we do know is that he's not giving him what he was before the injury, at least in the first 16 minutes. Hawks will set up again, looking to yeah. build on a four point edge. Pick and pop. Well, I, I was surprised. I thought that was going to be a pick and pop action for Shriver. Instead, they went with the fade. Here's Flowers. Drives in deep. Loses the handles. It taken away. By Hutchins. Nothing you can do. It's just about settling in and having guys who've been here before. Tracy Carter is a player who's been here before. Here's Horton now. Gets it off to Hutchinson, played by Shriver. Flex action here. Chuck Champion. Now Horton Jr. nine to shoot. Well, when you get into their stuff, he drives against Carter. Elevates, has a shot blocked away, and coming up with it for the Hawks is McLean. Oh, now it's loose again, and you already somehow gets it. Yeah, McLean tried to save it. Lucky it didn't lead to a bucket there for Albany. You got to be careful when you're saving it under your own basket. Horton Jr. now 20 to shoot. So Doles has got a mismatch with McLean, but well, Horton just got Saruti a really good look. Wow, open three, couldn't get it to go. Hutchinson the rebound. Horton drives in. Now Champion fakes the three, goes in against Shriver, elevates as a shot blocked by Shriver. Hartford with another big stop defensively. Well, Shriver was daring Champion to shoot it. He didn't want to. Instead, he just drove right into his body. Shriver did a nice job maintaining balance. Tracy Carter looks a little tired to me right now. And there's Shriver. Picked the ball off the, off the floor. He gets it back to McLean. McLean, free throw line jumper, in and out. Yep. And foul as Trey Hutchinson has Tracy Carter go over the back. And that's the difference between playing hard and playing smart. I talked about adjusting to the energy level of postseason basketball. One of the things from a coaching standpoint, why you're always trying to get your kids to play so hard throughout the course of the season, because if you're playing that much harder today than you have been in the last four months, it's hard to play smart. If you're playing with the same level of intensity you have for the last four months, then it's an easier adjustment. So he tries to drive it against Mitchell. He's cut off there. Throws now. Horton Jr. steps in it with three. And that's going to go out of bounds. Missed everything. And the crowd will let Horton here as the Hawks take over with 2.20 to go in the half. Albany's going to extend their pressure here. You're going to see that 2-2-1 two, two, again. Now they want Briggs McLean to take it out. Shriver says, McLean, you get over here and do this. Well, there's a wealth of ball handlers on the floor here for Hartford. And DJ Mitchell. And so the Shriver. 
Boy, you Albany just relentless defensively. And, and, I mean, they're not giving a step. And that pressure really did its job because Hartford, it's 10 seconds now, and they just still haven't been set in this offensive possession. NBA three for Carter, and he gets it a go. Oh, boy, is he feeling it as he does the old moonwalk back into the backboard. Hawks by seven, Hartford's largest lead. Nine for Tracy Carter, the engine. Big time players make big time shots, duels. He has come to play today. He has. Here's Doles, champion. Back to Doles. Crowd shotting defense, eight to go. Horton Jr. just inside the elbow, rounded out. Kimbrough the rebound. He's got it for the Hawks. And you know what? Kimbrough's not having a big game on the stat sheet, but he's playing well right now. He's been active defensively. He's also been in all the right spots defensively. Here's Tracy Carter again, just outside the elbow, misses the long two. Right now for Doles. He'll throw it up from six. Can't get the shot to go. And Briggs McLean the rebound out. Looks like Tracy Carter's going to slow things down with and, inside and you a know minute. What? I think both of these teams are just really tired right now. Albany looks absolutely gassed, and Hartford isn't far behind them. Normally, I think they would have explored a two for one opportunity there, but just needed a second to get their legs underneath them. Shriver open three. He got it. David Shriver hits the trifecta. <laughs> That's his second of the game, and Hartford's lead goes to double digits. And there's a seven-second differential, so they should get the ball back. Crowd shotting defense. Here's Hutchinson. Who comes off the bench now for the Great Danes. Doles, Horton Jr. Drives against Carter. The ball stripped away. D.J. Mitchell comes up with it. Here's Mitchell. Going to pull it back. Gives it now to Shriver. A three. It's good! David Shriver with back-to-back -back threes! Champion will hit it, will shoot a three at the bottom. Gonna start scoring underneath the basket. Yeah, they're, they're gonna talk about their offense, obviously. I, I think a lot of this for uh, Dwayne Killings is just reassuring his guys that, hey, if we have good shots, shoot them confidently, they're gonna start to go down um, and, and want to try and continue to uh, create offense from their defense when they can. There's Williams against Saruti. It's an out of Flowers. Moses drives in deep, hangs in the air, goes up and gets fouled. And just 30 seconds in, the first foul of the second half is against the Great Danes. But you could see Gal, conversely, was trying to establish Williams in that first possession. He drew that one up to get Williams a touch on the block. Instead, he kicks it out to Flowers, and you can see the contact there on Newman. So Flowers going to the stripe. Moses in this game. He makes the first. He's perfect from the line. Three for three. He's got five points. He had a field goal earlier. And the graduate of uh, the uh, Junior Flowers makes both here. Junior from Dorchester, Massachusetts, and the Hawks lead it 28-13. Doles now for Horton Jr. Crowd shotting defense, urging on the Hawks to defend. Here's Newman against Kimbrough goes up and gets fouled. As Dwayne Killings claps his hands, appreciating the call. Well, trying to establish Newman down there. It starts by uh, getting him deep post position. They did that on that possession. Kimbrough did a good job of not letting him turn that right shoulder to get to his left hand. Just a little too much upper body contact. Now, you Albany, generally a good free throw shooting team, just two for six before that make. Got to make your free throws, particularly on the road where you need to get every possible basket. Yeah, and if you're a coach, you can do everything but make shots for your guys. So this is, you know, like every coach's nightmare to see your your team in the right spots, just unable to knock down shots. And as we say that, UMBC now opening an eight-point lead, just over a minute to play in overtime in that other America East quarterfinal. Williams trapped along the sideline. The ball go out of bounds. Last touch by the great team. Boy, great defense by U Albany to, to force another inbound. Try to come away with a steal. Great teams do not. There's Tracy Carter. They have a play called Big Willie. <laughs> Here, Coach Gallagher yelling as Williams tries to find the angle. Throws it up. Circus shot rolls around and falls home for Austin Williams. His Williams first, with his first points. Yeah, first bucket of the day. 
Might not have left great with a left the hands, but fell through that orange circle and average lead is 15 for the first time. Sarudi tries the three. Rolls around no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hartford. Might have got off of Kimbrough, and it will stay with the Great Danes. Let's take a look at Austin Williams again. Good fake here. Yeah. Could have been a three-point play. Looked like there was some contact. <laughs> a little bit. Here's some Rudy. Horton. See, that's what I mean, though. You could say Horton didn't want to shoot that. So he's not playing with any confidence right now. Hartford's daring him to shoot, and he's saying, no, thank you. Wow. Schreiber, long three. He wow. gets it to go. David Schreiber. Energizing the crowd here in Hartford. 33-15 Hawks. And the announcer just says David Shriver from Bloomfield. <laughs> Gonna back his way in. Throws now for Champion who tries the three. That is no good. And Williams gets it to it first, then gets bumped from behind by Champion, who picks up the foul. And boy, Hartford has really started this second half very similar to the way they finished the first half. Yeah, everything right now going the Hawks' way. About being solid, though, duels. 18 right. minutes to play. Uh -huh. Eternity so far. Just getting going here in the second half. Flowers now for Williams. Now Williams drives in. Floater in traffic. They're going to call three. the offensive foul. Three on Williams. Oh, boy. He's going to have to take a seat. This is where the last week is beneficial though because Hartford had to play without Williams and without Flowers. They beat this Albany team without them. So he goes to the bench, you know, a week and a half ago. Maybe Hartford's got a lot of trepidation about it. Right now, they've got confidence that they can play without him. Here's Saruti against Mitchell. Fakes the three. Floater in traffic. Rolls around no good. Kimbrough secures the rebound with both hands. Yeah, and I'm going to say it again. Kimbrough's stat line is not phenomenal today, but he's played largely mistake-free basketball. Uh, both on the glass and on the defensive end and in so doing he's really been huge for the yeah, Hawks. Yeah, he has. That's his fifth rebound though. He's also got two blocks. But his post defense has been oh. really good. He hasn't been out of position at all. He's been really locked in. Schreiber tries another three. That's in and out. Rebound. It was into the hands of Uvalvina. Yeah. They find the hot hand, right? That's the that's the game plan. Here's Doles against Schreiber. Gets it to Newman. Matched up against Kimbrough. Elevates. Can't get the shot to go. Grabs his own rebound. Tries to get the angle. Double team. Throws for champion. Floater in traffic is good. Okay, now it's starting to, to address something during this timeout. What do you think he talked about? Well, There's still a big lead. But yeah, you just got to be solid. I think they're, you know, you have to guard against getting a little too excited, trying to swing for the fences. You're not going to knock anybody out with 16 and a half minutes to go in the half. So you've got to continue to do the things that got you here, and that's win it one possession at a time. And this driver thought about the three. Albany's back to zone. DJ Mitchell now trapped in the corner. Flips it off the leg of Saruti. It'll stay Hartford basketball seven on the shot clock. You see Carter to inbounds. Gets it a Shriver. Five to go. Shriver spinning. Try to get some room. Hoist up a three. And then will come up short. Newman the rebound. That was a well contested three pointer. Good job by Albany. Dole's now Sarudi. Horton trying to back his way in. Uh, Dole's rather elevates. But Can't get the shot to go. Kimbrough another rebound is sixth. But that's the right play there. He's got Shriver on him. He uses his size, takes him into the post, doesn't fade away. He's just got to make that shot. Here's Shriver is going to step in with three. Yeah. That's a little bit too strong. The feet were never set. He had to, he had a wider base than normal. Didn't really have his legs under him. Doles a three. That's no good. Flowers the rebound. They're one of 11 right now from behind the three-point line. See if the Hawks can get an easy one. There's Flowers. Gets it to Kimbrough. Now Flowers, a three. One but too strong. And Hartford's missed his last four shots. 
Champion driving all the way to the basket, puts it up short, and Flowers grabs the rebound. Wow. You Albany really needed that basket. And they just can't get anything to fall right now. Carter tries the three. That's going to rim out. Long rebound tipped up, and DJ Mitchell tried to save it. Him out of the lineup when he was capable of playing because I think John Becker just recognized, like, hey, finishing the regular season undefeated is not the goal here. The goal is to get to the NCAA tournament. Great teams. See if they can score out of the timeout. Sarudi, nobody boxes out. Matt Sarudi gets the garbage points underneath. He picks and, up the loose change and scores. And, and listen, Albany's going to keep fighting. If you watch their huddle at that that last timeout, I mean, they were, as they are every timeout, arms locked, totally together. And this is only a 14-point game. I, I think if this becomes a close game, Hartford's going to look back at the last few minutes and say, we missed some opportunities. Great pass by Mitchell to find Schreiber, who goes up and gets fouled. It's a great catch, quite frankly. I mean, that was, you know, we know Schreiber's a great shooter, but he has phenomenal hands. That ball was almost like behind his head. Yeah, that's a good point. He did catch it. Watch, watch this. Yeah, I mean, that's not an easy catch. 68% free throw shooter goes to the line. And the first one is good. Schreiber leading the Hawks and all scores with 15 points. Schreiber's just been outstanding recently. He's averaged over 23 points per game over his last three, including 23s in that span the last three games. And Hartford getting free throws today, Adam. They're now five for five from the line as a team. Yeah, he's been, uh, Schreiber's been phenomenal in, in recent weeks, no doubt about that. Hutchinson, crowd yells defense. Gets it into Neely. The American East Rookie of the Year goes up and gets fouled. Yeah, Kimbrough was really being handsy on that possession. You could see that call coming. And that's three on Kimbrough, and that's relevant because when he's out of the game, Hartford has been going very small. Austin Williams also with three personal fouls. So Neely goes right into the chest there. Kimbrough responds by sticking his arm back into the play. And a shoot against the student section in the background. He makes the first. He's an 83% free throw shooter. He's a guy that can fill that stat sheet as well. He had 26 points against Ramon on February 12th. That wasn't too long ago. He's going to be a big part of the future here, no doubt about that. Makes a couple and get his team a little bit closer. And New Albany will continue with a full court pressure. Yep, trying to change the, the tempo of this game. Now they come up with a steal. Great job by Nightmare Little to come up with it. Now Horton against Williams and scores. Went around Kimbrough as well. That's what Horton does best. He attacks the rim, uses his body. Got a really good pull up game as well. Tracy Carter. Oh, wow. Kimbrough set a pick for him and he felt that one. Well, that's on Kimbrough's man who didn't communicate it. Got his teammate leveled there. Wow, that was a big hit. DJ Mitchell tries the three. A little bit too strong. Rebound up for grabs. Williams had a hand on it, but can't bring it in fully, and you all but he takes over on O. I'll tell you what, the momentum of this game is subtly starting to shift a little bit. This is Albany's got an opportunity to string, th string some things together. They're playing with more confidence now than they have in quite a while. There's Hutchinson for the Great Danes. See if they can score here. Now Little, Sabruti, floater in traffic is good boy. You said it earlier, yeah. Adam. That is his shot. That is his shot, yep. And well, you can see Albany ready to fight now. And one time 18 point lead is down to 10 and Tracy Carter fouled as he was bringing it up the floor. That's a super senior going against the freshman. The super senior knows to get his angle, leverage it out, and you're going to get the call. Shriver right in the hands of Hutchinson. The turnover. Now Neely drives in deep all the way to the basket, puts it up, can't get the shot to go. Schreiber the rebound. Now it's the Hawks that need a basket. There's Williams. 
Well, tipped out of bounds. Nicely done by Little. Little's come in and he's done a nice job, I think, off the bench in the second half. Yeah, he's came in, provided energy and defense. Hawks have to get back to the, we're going to say the same thing I did early in that first half. They've got to get back to running their offense with pace. They're trying to hit too many home runs right now. It's when Killings, as Little takes a breather, will get. Champion back into the game. Hartford's going to turn it over though on the inbound. Now Neely has the ball poked away, but he comes up with it. Albany's out of bounds defense has been phenomenal the last couple of possessions. Hutchinson tries the three, no good. Offensive rebound. Neely who pumps it up, can't get the shot to go. Rebound up for grabs, and DJ Mitchell grabs it just inside the free throw line. Just a couple of missed layups there for Albany. Dwayne Killings desperate for the foul call. Hawks trying to weather the storm, so to speak, now. 12 minutes to play. Albany putting the pressure on. There's Kimbrough. Carter. A three. Back of the rim, no good. Williams, the offensive rebound. Now, DJ Mitchell. Hartford looks tired. Only played about eight minutes in this half. There's Williams driving in deep, puts That's it up shot. with the right hand and scores. Yep, that is his shot. That left hand side, he has that knack and ability to flip it up soft, coming back with the right hand. Second oop for the first team all conference selection, Austin Williams. Gordon trying to go against Carter, puts it up, can't get the shot to go. Kimbrough the rebound. That's what I mean though. Kimbrough had great position that whole time. He's been very, very solid tonight. He's got seven boards now. Yeah, now we're at the point where you can see Gal really starting to control the offense here. They've got to run their stuff. If this becomes a battle of athleticism, it's going to be in Albany's favor. There's Williams. Going to get his angle. Good D. Elevates, can't get the shot to go. Credit for it because of the, the, you know, the overall record won't reflect what a good job he did this season. But it has been a miraculous turnaround amidst unprecedented amounts of adversity. Yeah, no question about that. A couple of free throws. Five in the game now for Williams. Here's Hutchinson. Tough pass, but he makes the catch, leaving his feet to get it. Kicks it left side, and they're going to call a foul on the play, and it's against you, Albany, as Austin Williams gets spilled on that left block. Let's take a look at that again. Middle drive. Yeah, just yeah, knee to the, the chest. chest. Yeah. <laughs> That was a no no, and Hartford will get it back, facing full court pressure once again as we approach the midway point of this second half. Tracy Carter will go up against the freshman, Nymir Little. Instead, goes to DJ Mitchell. Mitchell had a nice dunk after a steal in the first half. Now Williams, Williams drives to the basket, throws it up and scores. That time he gets the lane all the way to the rim. Yeah, so strong that time. Down the other side, Little tries to go in and a quick basket for you Albany, but it's stopped at a foul called against Hartford. Get another look at this Williams drive. We talked about how he's at his best getting downhill. The ability to absorb contact. See, he gets to two feet. That's the key for him to maintain his balance through that contact. Kimbrough is going to have to go to the bench. He's got four fouls. Hawks will give up some height as 6 forward Jack, uh, Matt Hobbs with his brother Jack in the stands, by the way, from Anchorage, Alaska, will check in. There, yeah, the rookie Little, though, misses the free throw. Freshman from Chester, Pennsylvania, 58% free throw shooter. U Albany, 6 for 11 from the stripe this afternoon. Second one is no good. Offensive rebound, though. And the rookie of the year, Neely, puts it up, but he misses the shot underneath, and Williams grabs the rebound. Is this a dangerous time now for Albany? They need to begin to start shaving this 15, or are we yeah, not there yet? No, we're there. And, and I think the, fa the fact that they've, you know, they've missed three layups in the last few minutes. Hobbs tries the three. It's short. That was, the rebound. that was an ambitious shot in your first possession of the game. <laughs> 
Here's Horton Jr. Drives against Williams. Now Little tries the three. That is no good. J.C. Carter runs it down. Now Mitchell tries the three. That's going to go in and out. Right, for continuing to live and die from three-point land. Yeah, they've been streaky tonight. You know, it's been five in a row in, five in a row out. Little again. But see, that, that's been the factor. They've got, they just have too many guys who don't want to shoot it right now. There's Neely against Hobbs. Spins, can't get the shot to go. Along the rebound, DJ Mitchell grabs it. It's four layups. I mean, you know, yeah. there, there's, there's absolutely not. This is, this is a coach's nightmare because your guys are in the, all the right spots and you're saying everything you can do to encourage them and cheer them on. They're just missing shots and missing layups. Are they getting the looks? Yeah, they're getting the, the looks underneath. They're just not finishing. Yeah. Hawks by 15. Hartford has led by as many as 18 in the second half. And DJ Mitchell going to the free throw line, 78% free throw shooter. Hartford 7 of 8 from the stripe today. So they've done it. A really good job from the free throw line to this point. Well, and now they're in the bonus for the rest of the game, too. So that, that becomes especially relevant. And Mitchell makes the first. And makes the second. Three points for DJ Mitchell who came off the bench today. John Gallagher starting David Schreiber, who's been a hot hand. Who could blame him? Six plus threes, averaging over his last three games, heading into action today. And, you know, give DJ Mitchell a lot of credit, who's been a full-time starter all year long, because he didn't, he didn't blink an eye at coming off the bench, and that was obviously the right move here for Gal. No question about it. As a sub guy coming off, even though, I mean, you, you wouldn't know by the minutes. He's played a ton of minutes today. But... Does it change your mindset at all, Adam, well, as a player? I, I think D.J. Mitchell is ideal for a six-man role because he plays so hard right. and brings such constant energy um, that he's going to change the complexion of a game. And then you add into the fact his shooting prowess, he can immediately change the, the course of a game. And when he comes in, the defense needs to recognize that he's on 100%, the floor. 100%. Because he can make that three-pointer. And he spent most of his career coming off the bench, so he's he can do it. He's very well prepared for it. There's a miss by Horton. Williams the rebound. Williams has it taken away by Matt Sarudi. They're going to drive it and score. A nice basket by Jamel Horton. He's got 10 now. And that's Hartford has got to be very careful with their decision making here because turnovers lead to run out opportunities for Albany. It's about running your offense and being very deliberate, not passive, but deliberate with your possessions. We approach the eight minute mark. There's Tracy Carter left elbow jumpers. Good. Tracy Carter is really, he goes through stretches where he can carry the team. And he really got them going, I thought, early in the first half. Without today. question. I thought on both ends of the floor, not only did he make the first three of the game, but he played with great energy defensively. And he just brings this team confidence. See, that's. That's the play right there for Doles. That's that's what he has had the op, the matchup to do all night long. Just hasn't been consistently making that shot this afternoon. Hasn't been attempting it, quite frankly. I mean, it, a couple times in the second half that he's gotten to his spots and shown a willingness to, to really bang down there, but he's got that anytime he wants to go to it, especially Hartford. with Hartford's lineup right now. Hawks taking some air out of the basketball. There's Williams. Trying to grab the angle, elevates, and scores. Oh boy, he's got that one down, doesn't he? Yeah, that's one of the best defenders in the league going against one of the best scorers in the league. He's got nine. Now on the other side, you his second personal, and Horton Jr. going to the free throw line. Jamel makes his first, 70% free throw shooter. He told you top of the broadcast that Horton known for his defense defensive player of the year second team all conference but this guy can score he's led his team in scoring seven times including each of the last two games and oh he had 24 points in Tuesday's game against the Hawks up in Albany yeah and Hartford has done a really good job of keeping him out of the paint tonight they've done a nice job of meeting him early making him see multiple jerseys because when he can get to the basket 
He's uh, he's very good at getting to the rim normally, but Hartford's been keeping him out of the paint for the most part tonight. He's got 12. That's right where his average is. He averages 12.8 points per game. Here's Tracy Carter. Now for Williams. Williams going to drive in deep. Put it off the window and in. And you know, you're down double digits like Albany. you got to get some stops. And, and the, the flex was... Uh, whether you like it or not, it's pretty well deserved right now because that's how he's been getting his buckets here in the second half, just absorbing contact and bullying his way to the rim. So Rudy tries the three and gets it to go, and that's one thing that could get Albany back in this game. Well, it's one thing they haven't had yet, too. That's just their second three of the game, or one of 13 before that attempt. Hartford once again will slow things down, Still work some a lot clock. Of time. There is a lot of time. It's only 13. This is not a foregone conclusion. DJ Mitchell open three, a little bit too strong. Albany the rebound. Now missed seven in a row from behind the three point line. Hutchinson now for Saruti. Fader is good. A floater, I should say, is yeah, good. He's getting, he's getting it going here. A little bit closer for the Great Danes, 48 37. Now Williams drives in and gets fouled, and he'll be shooting a couple of free throws. And that's what you're supposed to do. When you're a big-time scorer and your team's in a rut, in the middle of a run, you put the team on your back and you go make a play. Watch Saruti, though. He, he's been a spark offensively for Albany here. Made the quick three, little rocker step there, and he's got all sorts of those little runners and floaters. He's got a good game, graduate student from Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania. He's led his team in scoring nine times this year. Meanwhile, Austin Williams goes to the line and misses the front end. Williams, 11 points. Hartford, 9 of 11 as a group this afternoon from the stripe. Mitchell takes his seats. Throws his flowers back in for the Hawks. Williams makes the adjustment. He's got 12 now. 49-37. Yeah, he's been big in the second half. Remember, he didn't score in the first half, so all 12 of those points coming in the last 14 and a half minutes. Horton now for Little. A three is good. Minier Little hits the three-pointer. And that's a nine-point game. The ref is counting here. They got to get this in quick. And Tracy's full court pressure has been really good for you, Albany. This time to be Austin Williams. Is it back to Mitchell? Yeah, and you don't want the ball in Mitchell's hands. You want it in Carter's hands or Williams' hands. Williams gets it back now. Now Flowers, not of the shot clock. We see Carter tries the three, and it's going to get stuck between the backboard and the rim, and you Albany will take over. Hartford's got to get some points in the paint. They're 0 of their last eight from behind the three-point line. And now just one of, one of 10, I believe, in the second half. Flowers comes out. Mitchell back in the game. Gordon Jr. has it. Now Saruti. Here comes the flip. There it, is. It. there it is. Comes up short this time, though, but the offensive rebound kept alive by Newman. Newman puts it up, can't get the shot to go, but he is fouled. It's five on Kimbrough. Yep. So Hartford will have to go the final 425 without their big guy who leaves with seven rebounds and two blocks. And they're going to go small here. They got Briggs McLean coming in. So Austin Williams and David Shriver are now the two biggest guys on the floor for Hartford. We want to go to the free throw line. Makes the first, the 50% free throw shooter, the graduate student from Philadelphia. So Coach Killings and you know, well, try so, to get another sub in. Yeah, he's bringing Champion in for Newman. So he sees Hartford's going small. He's going to match him here, put Doles at the five. 
He even, makes both. And even at that, Doles is still going to have a uh, an advantage in the post. Hartford at one point led 33-15. An 18-point lead is now 49-42 with just over four minutes to play. Fasten your seatbelts. There's Williams. Hawks desperately needed a score. They really struggled from three-point land recently. And they call the offensive foul on the rookie Little. Again, Tracy Carter, super senior versus the freshman. Same time we've seen this. He goes right into Little's hip. He knows they're in the bonus. He knows they're struggling to score. That is just veteran experience. Tracy Carter, a 77% free throw shooter, will go to the line for the Hawks. He'll shoot a one and one. Every foul after this will be two shots for the Hawks. We're going to see uh, Webley yeah. get in for the first time, Adam. Yeah. So Dwayne Killings comes back in with Newman. He's going big on offense. John Gallagher counters by Webley. So he's got someone to match up with the body and Newman inside. The coaching chess match. Carter makes the first. Puts his team up eight. How about this for Webley? First minutes <laughs> of the game with four minutes left in the uh, postseason. I thought he played well the last time we saw yeah, him. Yeah, I did too. Came off the bench and did a really nice job. Back to a nine-point lead, four minutes to play. Fans here in Hartford urging the Hawks to defend. Here's Matt Cerruti. Now Newman in the post against Websley goes up and scores. So Webley really bit on that initial fake to the middle. They were trying to sell that. A little try to take the charge, didn't get the call as he hit the deck against Tracy Carter. That would have been huge. Now Williams. Matched up against Gordon. That's it to Mitchell. Back to Williams. And that's about stripped Turn away. Over. Stolen by Horton. Ahead to Saruti who puts it up and he misses wow. the easy one but grabs the offensive rebound but has wow. to take it away. And Hartford comes up with it and oh boy. Newman is hurt underneath the basket. He is down for the Great Dane. Schreiber tries the three. That is no good. And now with Albany basketball. Horton will bring it up for the Great Danes. Horton with 12 points and 413 shooting. Picks up his dribble. Now Saruti has led the way with 13. It's always coming back to that, that right shoulder and left hand. And Newman can't get the shot to fall. Tipped out of bounds. We'll stay with the Great Danes. With 20 to shoot. Now Little, freshman tries the three, side of the rim, no, sky for the rebound, Tracy Carter. And they got to call a reach and foul. Newman tried to get away from Car uh, from uh, Tracy Carter and he gets hacked in the act. This will be two shots from here on out for Hartford. Double bonus for the Hawks, take a look again. You see Tracy Carter has the ball. But again, part of that is the savvy of Tracy Carter knowing just where to put the ball. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's done a great job here tonight at the free throw line as Carter and rattles the first one home. Tracy now 14 points. He's three for three from the stripe. Chance to put his team up nine with just inside three minutes to play. And he does. The veteran the coming veteran. up huge today. Yeah, he's outstanding for the Hawks. Dodge shotting defense now as Horton has it for the Great Danes. And drives in against Tracy Carter, puts it up, can't get the shot to go. The rebound up for grabs. Williams gets to it for the Hawks. And he gets fouled from behind as Champion tries to reach around and grab the basketball. Well, now Albany's going to do everything they can to prolong these two minutes and 22 seconds. And if that possession was any indication, as soon as Austin Williams touches it, he's going to the free throw line. Okay. 
Williams a 61 percent free throw shooter. First team all conference selection. Play of the week a couple of weeks ago makes his first. See his balance looks better on his free throw today than it has in the past. And gets the lead back to double digits for the Hawks who led by as many as 18 points here in the second half. He drops in both. Austin Williams now with 14 points. 55-44. There's Saruti for Doles. Saruti, a three. In and out. DJ Mitchell the rebound for the Hawks. Gets it off to Tracy Carter. Here comes the trap. Now Shriver with the basketball. And you can see what they're doing. They're picking who they want to foul right now. And that's why Tracy Carter. There's Mitchell. Gets it back to Carter. Ten on the shot clock. 149 to play. Carter. Now for Huge Mitchell. Shot. A three. Back of the rim, no good. Williams grabs the rebound for Hartford. Gets it back to Mitchell. And a fresh 20 for the Hawks. And now they have to foul, and they do. And everybody standing here in Hartford. Wow, what a nice sequence for the Hawks. Certainly was. And that big offensive rebound, you see John Gallagher there. Austin Williams bringing the crowd to their feet. Carter misses the front end. Tracy first miss from the line today has 15 points, including three threes. He came up huge then. The graduate student from Philly. The no, he's beyond huge. And this is here, and Albany with the rebound. Here's Horton. Good transition defense, though, not allowing Horton to get into the paint. And Adoles goes up with a shot. He misses on the ball goes out of bounds. Hartford basketball as the crowd roars. How about Webley coming in and making his presence felt with that big defensive play? Carter immediately fouled. He gets fouled by Doles just shy of midcourt. You said it, Adam. Albany try to stretch as much as they can in this yeah. 125. Yeah, early on when it was, you know, when you had over two minutes left, they were going to pick who they were going to follow and try and identify the guys, which is a good strategy. You, you identify the players that every Division one, one staff in the country does that. It's in every scouting report. You say, these are the guys we'd like to follow given the opportunity. Um, but the less time you have left on the clock, the less selective you can be. And now you just have to prolong it any way possible. Well, Simple here. If Hartford makes its free throws, the Hawks will win and advance as Carter does make his first. He's got 16 now. Ian Schreiber leading Hartford's attack with 16 apiece. Make it 17 now for Carter. You're right. Stars come to shine in big games, don't they? Yeah, and the veteran experience was absolutely huge. But you know, this is this is going to be a learning experience for Albany. They're going to their young youngsters are going to be better off for this. They've got, in my mind, one of the best recruits in the conference coming in, and Jonathan Beagle. And uh, a strong young core here. The best is, is very clearly yet to come under, under Dwayne Killings. Champion the rebound. Put back. Now Tracy Carter <laughs> tracked down. I mean, if you're going to follow him anyway, now, why I mean, not he, follow he's him earlier? Free. He wants his free throws. He's, he said, you better follow me. You're going to follow somebody. You're going to follow me. Tracy Carter eyeing that 20-point game he's at 17 right now as he waits a, a couple of free throws Carter rattles the first one home you know we saw that game a couple of games ago at home where Hartford really struggled from the line especially down the stretch against NGIT they ended up winning the game but Hartford much better today from the strike. And remember, this is going to be their last game here for a lot of these kids in this building. And uh, it's a, a fitting and, and a fitting way for them to wrap up their home court here. They've got more basketball to play. I know they think they can make a run at this thing. Without a doubt. 
why Coach Gallagher said he wanted to rest Williams and Flowers. He really believes that this Hawks team has the ability to do some postseason damage. Or now, Hutchinson a three is good. Those guys were going to be among the best players in this league. DJ e. Mitchell uh, trapped along the corner, only going to call a jump ball. Well, DJ's got to know better than that. You can't wait in the corner for the trap. You got to get out of the corner. Oh no, they're gonna uh, alternate possession, so it, it'll stay with the Hawks. And now they're gonna have Austin Williams inbound as they wipe down the basketball. Somebody's gone long. Oh. McLean gets the inbound and that's where Albany wants them to inbound the ball in that corner where they can trap you. So it's gold ball here. It's going to be yeah. Briggs, yeah, Briggs McLean stepped out of bounds there. Stranger so, things have happened. So Doles has it now. Champion now Horton drives in deep, loses the handle. And they're going to call a, a foul on Tracy Carter, I think. Yeah, his second. He can't believe it. 33 seconds left, and Horton go to the free throw line. Never quit Albany team, though. You, you got to be impressed with what they've done. They're trying to get back into this game, and they did. They made it a three possession game after being down by 18. There's a miss. The first time out, four minutes in. And on the same side, duels, you could just see Gal and Tracy Carter. Uh, Tracy Carter's coming out, and they shared an extended hug, which, you know, this will be Tracy's last game in this uh, in this building. Got the miss of the shot. Williams the rebound. And defense will back off, and Williams will get it to DJ Mitchell, who'll dribble things out. And Hartford, the four seed. We'll move on and we'll play in Baltimore against UMBC on Tuesday.